I made the last one but to be honest with you guys I've been feeling really unmotivated and I think that's because of the content that I wanted to come out with I have all these huge garden plans that I wanted to show you guys but it's like stuff is moving so slowly with the garden and getting our fence up which is our first step it's just I don't know it's discouraged me a little bit so I've been putting off that video of showing you guys what our short and long-term garden plans are. But if you let me know that you wanna see that video and then I'll be sure to make it for you guys, just let me know in the comments below. And before we go any further, I wanna take the second to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Join the Vegan Homestead fam, we would love to have you. And I have a huge goal of reaching 100 subscribers. I know it seems little in the YouTube world, but it's huge for me because I've been on YouTube for so long. Um, so yeah, goal of reaching 100 subscribers uh, in March. Actually, I think I'm gonna shorten my goal to March 15th, halfway through the month. And so if you would help me with that, I sure would appreciate it. And thank you beforehand for doing so. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to start juicing and not just any kind of juicing, but drinking dark leafy green juice like this one. And juicing is something that I've wanted to get into for a while now, and I really just didn't know how to go about getting into it without putting on extra weight from drinking a ton of fruit juice um, and then yeah how could I transition from that into drinking dark leafy green juice however I have found the secret and so I figured I would share it with you guys because maybe you are wanting to know how to get into drinking dark leafy green juice as well so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. It helps my channel out and it really supports me. So I appreciate that. Okay, so I have three tips for you today and how to get into drinking dark leafy green juice. Let's start with number one. Okay, so when I was trying to get into celery juicing, I found it really easy to stick with it because I really liked a base of celery juice and I did drink celery juice every single morning for 14 days and it went great. I didn't realize any like super good effects from it. Um, my skin did stay clearer than normal. I didn't have any breakouts during that time. So that might be a positive side effect of it. Um, and I also did lose a little weight and my digestion was a little bit better, but it's good already. And so it wasn't a drastic improvement, but it just wasn't enough for me to continue doing celery juice only. Um, so I figured I would use that experience to get into drinking dark leafy green juice um, because it has a ton of health benefits. And so that is when I discovered my first tip is to start with a base you love. I like the taste of celery juice and so celery is definitely a base for all of my dark leafy green juices that I make now. But if you're not into celery, uh, two other bases that you could start with are orange juice, which are re is really good to add on to. Um, it just pairs well with a lot of greens. And then carrot juice. Carrots are a very sweet vegetable. And so when you pair them with something more bitter, like spinach or kale, the effect isn't so drastic. And so that would be my first tip. Find a base that you like. Um, just try those three different ones out or something else that you think you might like and start with that as the base for your juices. Tip number two, start out just a week at a time. Start with the base that you like and add other flavors that you like on top of it and just get into that routine of juicing. It's sort of a hard habit to start because you have to go through the whole process of juicing, cutting up all the vegetables and fruits, and then cleaning out the juicer. What I do to make this a little bit easier on myself is juice three to four days at a time. 
uh, clean the juicer and then I don't have to juice again until three to four days later. When you're starting out juicing uh, and you have that base that you like, another thing that I could say is add flavors onto it um, that are more mellow, like romaine, cucumber, spinach, and beet, and work your way up to the dark leafy greens like kale and collards because they have a more strong and bitter taste in juices and just take it a week at a time. Um, add on another dark leafy green uh, one week at a time so your taste buds have time to get used to it and it's not such a shock that you just instantly hate it and stop doing it because that would impede all of your progress. Okay. Tip number three. Eliminate fruit slowly. So when you start with a base that is heavy in fruit, for example, I like celery juice and then I like to add a few oranges and grapefruits in there. But once you get to the point where the juice flavor is palatable to you, you can start eliminating fruit, but do it slowly. Because again, you don't want the taste to be so off-putting that you just stop juicing altogether. Because again, then you wouldn't be getting all the nutritional benefits of juicing. And so those are my three tips. I figured I'd make it a quick, short and easy video and hopefully it has been helpful to you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you are gonna start juicing, what's your favorite base, what your favorite add-in is and what you eventually wanna get up to juicing. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.